Sophie Kwanen Kiefer and I'm a medical research student here at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology in Trondheim, Norway. And I'm here to talk about our study Personal Activity Intelligence and Mortality in Patients with Cardiovascular Disease, the HEN study. The take home message from our study is that heart and stroke patients who reach an individual exercise target of 100 pi live almost five years longer than less physically active patients. Pi, short for Personal Activity Intelligence, is an algorithm developed by researchers at our university. Our research indicates that Pi may be an even better standard for physical activity than the current physical activity recommendations. So, what is Pi and how do you track your own Pi score? The Pi algorithm considers sex, age, resting and maximum heart rate, and uses heart rate variations over the course of a week to estimate a simple, personal score that reflects how physically active you are. With a mobile app, a wearable device and a heart rate monitor, you can easily find out if you exercise enough to obtain maximum health benefits. If your price score is above 100, you're good. If not, you should probably be more active. In our new study, we estimated PI score for more than 3,100 patients with myocardial infarction, angina or stroke who participated in the HEALTH study. We followed them for up to 30 years and found that those who were active enough to obtain 100 pi or more had 36% reduced risk of dying from cardiovascular disease during this period. The risk of dying from any cause was also significantly reduced compared to those who were inactive. Specifically, those who earned at least 100 pi lived for an average of 4.7 years longer than those who earned less than 100 pi. The benefits of reaching 100 weekly pi were regardless of age and similar in both men and women. Importantly, reaching 100 pi was associated with reduced mortality even in patients who reported to exercise according to the physical activity guidelines. These recommendations state that heart patients should do at least 150 minutes exercise at moderate intensity or at least 75 minutes at high intensity every week. Less than one-fifth of heart patients follow these recommendations. You can earn high points by performing physical activity at various amounts and intensities. For example, 40 minutes of high intensity exercise is sufficient to get 100 pipe whereas 150 minutes of moderate intensity earns approximately 38 pi. Previous research from our group has shown that reaching a weekly pi score of 100 is linked to substantially reduced risk of early death in healthy, obese and hypertensive individuals, as well as in patients with diabetes. This new study shows that pi is a superior measure of physical activity also in patients with established cardiovascular disease. Furthermore, PI might also be a more practical way to guide patients to the optimal levels of exercise needed to reduce your own health risk. Patients can share a PI score with their physicians, enabling the physicians to encourage, encourage them to reach 100 PI. In conclusion, we have shown an inverse association between reaching 100 PI and all cause and cardiovascular mortality in patients with myocardial infarction, stroke or angina. The association was regardless of whether or not patients were following the physical activity recommendations. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.